ladies. This is Carla. Today I'm gonna to make another Valentine project. Uh, if you've watched any of my hauls, you know that I went to the Dollar Tree looking for a box and I found this really cute Happy Valentine's Day box. And it was just what I was looking for because it had a lid that opened and that's what I wanted. And uh, I've already kind of started on this a little bit, but um, if you also recall, I bought some of these little garlands at the Dollar Tree that have these really heavy duty, really cute little hearts decorated. So I'm going to be using some of those and I've already cut one apart that I've used. But on this one, I'm gonna cut it apart. And I want to use the XOXO, the Hugs and Kisses. So I'm gonna cut that one off. And I think I wanna use the two that have the white polka dots. So I'm gonna cut those off. So they're held together by a ribbon. So I'm gonna use those. And we're gonna set these aside. So what I've already done, I had some of my uh, floral foam. So I went ahead and I put some floral foam inside. And as you can see, it does not fit all the way around. But I'm gonna take some of my um, moss here and I'm going to put that around the edges and I'm gonna do that over my trash can. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Just gonna do this down here. I was gonna just put some, um, oh, like little pieces of paper towel or something on there. But then I thought that might be really hard to try to poke something in if I needed to poke something down in there. So I just went ahead and but I'll use this Spanish moss to do that. And hopefully if I need to poke anything on the sides, that will go in fairly easy. Okay, so I've got that in like so. And now I, what I wanna do is just take some hot glue and I'm gonna put that on top of this floral foam there and just kind of attach that so we'll cover that up. Them in here. There we go. And that ought to be enough to just hold that on. Just kind of want it to stick on there. And I'm going to wipe some of this moss off. Let me get that out of my way. Here, bring this back. Now for these two little hearts here, I wanted to use those in the background on the back of the box. So I want the first one, I want it to go pretty low down here because I want to attach the back to it so it will help stand up. Now I want to look at that because I don't know if I want it totally straight. I want to add an angle and then angle this one at the top and it can also stick off a little bit. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to add hot glue all over the back of this heart. Let's try that. Put that in here, and I want that to come at an angle down in there because I want that to hold that back up. I'm sure I got that in there low enough. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Then I'm going to take this one and kind of eyeball it. Put glue on there. Ah! And I want it to stick up. I'm going to have it coming at an angle this way. So I need to add a glue stick. Let's put that in. And let's see. I'm going to have 
end up sticking up some. So I don't want glue all over the back. What I'm gonna do, I think, is add glue to this. That makes more sense. bit much glue there when that dries I'll take that off I don't think I'm gonna mess with it right now okay so so far we have these two hearts and that like I said gives me that backdrop for what else I'm gonna put in there now to go ahead let's see I made these little gnomes which I think turned out so cute um, I made gnomes for Christmas on a tutorial, and these are made basically just the same way, except they're, you know, mini gnomes. They're very small, but they're, they're made basically the same way. Now, the hat, I did not make like I did in a tutorial. What I did for the hat was just cut out kind of a triangle and hot glued it along the back, but I also put um, a piece of floral wire I glued along the edge before I glued it over. That way I could bend it. And what I'm hoping to do is put these little guys in here and kind of make, make it look like their uh, hats come together to make a little heart. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. And I might add a pom-pom ball there. We'll see to kind of hook those guys together. I think trying to figure out how to get those in there and then we'll add some stuff around them okay i guess we're just gonna want the beard to be out of the way i'm just gonna add some hot glue and i'm not sure if i want these on the side or in the center so i'm getting that hot glue on there and then I think I'm going to put them in the center. Pull this out a little bit. So he's stuck in there. With that wire in there, I can adjust that little hat. Then on the, the little girl one, I put a, kind of a decorative red little uh, blingy flower on her heart and put a star on his heart. Or his, yeah, his heart. <laughs> so I'm going to add again some hot glue around this edge. Oh, put the one down there. I want that to stick in there good. Whoa, there went my glue gun. I'm going to pull this out and get her beard up. I don't want them in her beard. And get them pretty close together so the hats can make that little heart if we want it to. There we go. So get my glue gun off the floor. All right. So we got those guys in. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to put this up here. Like I said, I might put a pom pom there to hold that together. Or I've got some little cute felt hearts. But now, let's see, for decorations in it, I got these uh, after Christmas at a sale. And I was thinking I might add those in the background. They're little mushrooms. And I also have these, uh, you know, hearts we could poke in there. And then I've got some little pink ones as well. I thought that was really cute. Now these will be way too tall if I leave them like that. So I'm gonna try to cut those off. And that's a wire that is not gonna cut. Man, that's a big wire. Let's see, that's way too tall. I'm gonna get my wire cutters. My wire cutters are not that great. Let's cut it this much. Probably gonna end up trying to break it. I don't know. 
I don't think these wire cutters are gonna cut that wire. It's just too hard. I'm gonna try to bend it. Maybe I can just bend it like this and go down in there. I think it's deep enough that that will. Yeah, that's that's pretty cute. I'm trying to think where I want these. I think I'm gonna put. Let's try one over here. And I can also put glue on that if I need to. If I that's where I want to keep it. That looks pretty cute. And maybe this one in front of it. It's shorter. No. I was telling my husband I need to invest or try to look around for a heavy duty wire cutters. And I don't want this to show, but let's see. If we pop this in there. Oh, that's cute. That could work like that, I think. Yeah, that looks cute. Let's lean these guys back a little bit and pull these guys at an angle a little bit so they're not just up there. All right, I like that. And then, okay, I got some greenery and little flowers, and I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to put all of that in there or not, but I wanted to look at it after I kind of got it put together. This is kind of a uh, wispy, hangy, and I don't know if I, if I want any of that in there. It's pretty cute like that. Let me just put one in there and see if I like that. Nah, I don't think I do. I really thought I was going to. And then I also have some of this uh, white, um, oh, floral stuff that I thought I might put, put in there. And I think I might do some of that. And I also had this floral stem. So I thought maybe I could put a little bit of flower in there. That might make it look really sweet. So I think we're gonna cut. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna cut for sure a longer one of these white ones and see how that works. I had this in my stash from Christmas. I just keep a bunch of stuff, but you know, I was thinking it, it kind of looks like a little bit of snow, but Valentine's, it's still winter. So we could have a little bit of snow. Let me bend that back a little bit. Might be backwards. There we go. Oh, I might want that to come not just all up to the edge. I think I'll put that down in the foam. There we go. Okay, I kind of like that. And let's see, I think it would need another one. Take this one, cut it like this. And let's add this one right here as well. Put it here. It's a little bit taller. I like that. Get in that foam. There we go. That's down in that foam. I might put one more right over here. Um, I don't want it to be very tall. I might go with this little stem right here. little guys. Okay, I'm liking that. And then on my floral stem, I just thought these were the sweetest things. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I like this one doesn't seem to be maybe quite as long. I could get that one off. Um, mm, there. <laughs> Just pull that off, and I think I'm gonna see if I can just poke that in behind these guys all the way down to the bottom and see if that's gonna go or not go. Let's see, do it like this. No, nope. it's too tall. Get that hung up there on some of that. Let's 
I think we'll just pull those off. Try that again. So right through all this styrofoam. Come on, go, go, go. some of this off. I've worked with this kind of a floor arrangement before and it's all really twisted on there. And if you're not careful, <laughs> when you untwist, you're gonna untwist all of it and it's gonna fall apart. So let's try cutting up here. And if, you know, if I have to, I'll just cut it short and hot glue it and we may not have to go down in there very much. Try it in the styrofoam again. If that doesn't work, we'll get so far, then it starts to buckle. There. Let's see. Now that's not too bad. Put that in there and get my little. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that's really cute. Okay, we're just about done with this. I am going to add some hot glue to this little mushroom, I think. Get some of this out my way. We might add that. I don't know. I'm going to put some glue just right here. mushroom. Oh, that's so cute. So cute, so cute. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. All right, now, don't want anything back there. The only thing I might put back there would be a heart. Might put a heart in there. Put it there. Where do I put it in the flowers? I think I would put it in the flowers. Now I also have pink ones. Should I put the pink, the red? Maybe both. Okay, we'll put the pink one first. It's a little bit larger. Hopefully we're going down in that styrofoam. really nice and then let's see about putting the red one in there okay and I might since that kind of shows there I think I'm gonna put this little piece of white right in front of that kind of covers up where those went in there. Let's do that. It's a little bit of hot glue. Put that right there at the base of those picks and kind of pull that moss up around those. And, oops, I don't want to cover up my little gnomes there. Now let's see, I've got these little balls. I'm not sure if I need to put that on there or not. Let's see, or I thought, um, I don't know, I've got these little hearts. I might put a little heart on there. Let's see, take these little balls out. And they're plastic. I think I will. I think I'm gonna 
little hot glue and be really careful. I don't want too much. And just kind of stick those together. So that looks like a heart. Oh, body language here, trolls. You look like you're turning away. We gotta come towards her a little bit. All right, let's stick those back together. And you could make him like a little mustache when you're arranging that. And then I think I'm gonna just put this little ball there. Oh, it just stuck, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, do that. I'm gonna put that little ball there. And the last thing we need to do is I'm going to take this little heart. says hugs and kisses. I'm going to put it right on the front, just like that. Those glue strings off of there. And I think I'm going to put the glue on the front. Take this and try to center it up here. adorable Valentine arrangement. So ladies, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please subscribe if you have not had a chance to subscribe. Um, I enjoy you coming by and I just appreciate you watching my channel so much. So many of you make such kind comments and you know and ask me questions and I, I like that. So until next time, Bye-bye. Well, here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this and I, I hope you like it. I thought it turned out really cute. I do want to apologize because I went back and watched the video and realized that when I was reaching around trying to get things that my head full of rollers got in the video. I am so sorry and I'm embarrassed. I thought about deleting this, but I thought the project was so cute that I decided to just swallow my pride and keep it on there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.